Baked goods, coffee, and smash burgers. That's what we have in store for this week's installment of New in Town. You can find those items at a new coffee shop in Merrill and a bar and grill in Bay City. Digital News anchor Kyle Mangan takes a look at some of the tasty treats. Courtney Stella starting off with a mother and daughter duo out of Merrill running Mo Coco's Coffee, where they have a wide selection of baked goods, savory treats, and of course, coffee. The mother and daughter duo says they wanted to bring a coffee shop to their hometown that can be a place for families to enjoy. But what makes them different than other coffee shops is everything they make is homemade. From roasting their own coffee beans to making their own syrups, they pride themselves on being original. But to them, the best part about opening up the coffee shop was seeing all the familiar faces. We see old teachers and it's just been really neat to just be able to reconnect with everyone in the community and bring everyone in. And they're so supportive. The community's yeah. been just super supportive and, and kind of shares our dream and our passion. Mo Coco's Coffee will be hosting a puzzle night competition on April 18th from 4 until 6.30, and that winner will take home a prize. Now moving over to Bay City at 1111 Bar and Grill, two sisters opened up their third restaurant, offering cold beer, a dollar smash burgers, and more. The name 1111 was picked to honor their father, who sadly passed away on November 1st at 1111. The country-themed bar offers line dancing, pool, and of course, country music. The sisters say they wanted to change the reputation of the bar from just a place to have a few drinks to a favorite place to eat among locals. Our main goal is to change the reputation here, um, welcome everybody with a great atmosphere, drama free, we're focusing more on food and burgers and daily specials, happy hours. We're just looking to make a, a positive impact in the community. Moving forward, 1111 Barn Grill will be hosting more line dancing and even a pool league. For more information on these new places, you can find that on our website at midmichigannow.com. Reporting from the digital desk, Kyle Macon, MidMichigan Now.